of Lulu Marquez. Pag-usapan natin ang respiratory system. Pag-usapan natin ang ating baga. Okay. Mag-anatomy muna tayo. Importante po ang respiratory system, especially our lungs, kasi dyan po ang function niya ay exchange of gases. When you inhale oxygen, you have to exhale carbon dioxide kasi waste product po yan. Now, ganito yung anatomy. It goes through your nose or through your mouth, yung oxygen, when you breathe. And then, dadaan po yan sa ating, syempre sa floor ng mouth natin. And it goes to your throat. That's the pharynx. Then, it goes to your voice box. Yan po yung larynx. At bababa po yan sa so windpipe, the trachea. Then, pupunta sa left and right, bronchus. At magbabranch out into bronchioles. And magbabranch out pa rin ulit into alveolar ducts and alveoli. Yun yung air sac. Saan pupunta? Siyempre, sa left and right lang. Yung left lang natin, for those na hindi alam na, alam mo ba, may mga lobes yan. The left lang ay may two lobes. The superior lobe and the inferior lobe. Yung ating right lung lobes ay tatlo. Tatlo ah. Superior, middle, and inferior lobes. Bakit, Tita Dok? Dalawa lang lobes lang yun nasa left. Para may space naman sa puso. Hindi ba yung puso natin anatomically placed sa left side? Okay? So, ang function pala ng lungs ay for exchange of gases. Correct. Oxygen in, carbon dioxide out. At ang ating respiratory system, nakakatulong yan sa atin para sa paghinga, syempre, pag-amoy, at pagsalita. Yun din pong air na pumapasok sa atin ay binabalansin niya yan sa ating body temperature. Yan ang functions ng lungs. Paano naman kung magka-problema? Tulad ng inuubo ka. Meron kang hirap paghinga. May masakit pag humihinga ka. Parang may masakit sa dibdib mo, sa likod mo. Kung minsan, pag-ubo mo, may dugo. Minsan, nagpa-examine ka, naging anemic ka na. Wala kang ganang kumain. Baka nilalagnat ka na. Nagsusuka ka. Baka naku-COVID ka. Hindi eh, natin alam. Yung mga signs and symptoms na yan, hindi ko naman sinasabing COVID. Problem lang. Hindi lang basta COVID. Pwede meron kang asthma, meron kang chronic bronchitis, meron kang emphysema, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, or even pleural effusion, or bronchiectasis, or lung cancer. Kung ikaw na ninigarilyo, Nako, problema po yan. At hindi mo matanggal, meron kang nicotine addiction. Well, that can lead to lung cancer. Ayaw na lung cancer, ang smoking also can lead to emphysema or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. A number one problem actually ng lungs ay hika. Meron wheezing sound, parang may sumisipol. Diba? Hirap magkahuminga. Right? May allergy ka sa mga uh, seafoods. Hinihika ka na rin. Right? O di kaya merong tinatawag na parang grrr, may gumagana. <laughs> Rouse po yun. Rouse. Daming plema yun. Baka meron kang bronchitis. So pag may inflammation, bronchitis. See? Napakalaking problema pag hindi ka makakahinga. Anong pwedeng gawin? Una, dapat healthy ka. Dapat alagaan mo yung lungs mo. Dapat maganda yung immune system. Hindi ka pasaway, matulog ka ng maayos. Kumain ka ng tama. Nag-exercise ka. 
have lots of antioxidants, makukuha yan sa pagkain ng maraming gulay at prutas, healthy foods, antioxidants yun. At food supplementation is also good source of antioxidants. Okay? And of course, you have to drink lots of water. At least 1.5 liters of water. No soft drinks, ah. Nasabi ko, too big. No. If I talk about antioxidants, kasi hindi tama yung kain mo, ano yun? Well, kung meron ka mga tablet, capsule, juices, okay naman po yun. Yung pong cacao, yung cacao fruit, okay po yan na may aral po, daming aral yan. Because it has uh, high antioxidant capacity. Okay? But basically, it's not just the fruit itself. Kailangan uh, gawa na siya, may extract na siya ng cacao. May kinakain dyan yung buto eh. Okay? Na kung may makukuha tayong uh, very good product tulad ng F2N, Teo Brahma Superfood, it was made in good manufacturing practices. Napakataas po ng antioxidant capacity niyan dahil meron siyang polyphenols. Specifically, the flavanols. Itong flavanols na to, nandyan po yung catechin, epicatechin, and procyanidins. Okay. So, what can it do? Uh, okay. Ang aral po dito ay uh, aside from antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, meron siyang anti- carcinogenic effect or anti-tumor. Yes. Aral po yun ha. Hindi lang po ako nagsasabi nun. Okay now. Yung pong polyphenols because of the specifically the procyanidins. Okay. Meron siyang pinopromote sa katawan na anti-tumor kasi yung pong mga cancer cells. Okay ay nagsa-self-destruct. Ibig sabihin po, ang ginagawa niya ay ini-initiate niyang apoptosis. Apoptosis means yung cancer cells, pinapatay niya na kaagad. Mag-self-destruct ka na! Ganon. Yes. So, it initiates apoptosis. That's what these polyphenols can do. Yung theobromine na sa cacao rin. So, what can it do? Meron siyang lipophilicity. Ibig sabihin, it can cross tissue membrane. Specifically, the lung tissue membrane. O, oh, yan ngayon. If it does that, then, yung tinatawag na anti-neovascularization ng mga cancer cells ay mababawasan. So, anti-carcinogenic effect. Okay? Is it that nice? The polyphenols, which is the flavanols, and theobromine, na nasa isang product na tulad nung sa F2N Theobroma Superfood, makakatulong po. Okay? And this bottle of cacao, when you mix with 250 ml, hindi lang polyphenols and theobromine nandoon, nandun din yung Uh, water, you know, water-soluble vitamins, fat-soluble vitamins, and dun din. And meron din siya minerals, okay? Meron siyang calcium, magnesium, zinc, selenium, copper, and iron, okay? Alright. So, is that a good choice, doctora, as a food supplement? Well, yeah. Kung meron kayong iba pa, idagdag nyo yan. Hindi yan treatment, ah. Food supplement yan. Mas lalakas ka. Mas magiging kalmado ka. Alright? So, don't forget the other advices, ah. Sleep well. Eat healthily. Exercise. Have lots of very good antioxidants. Like yung Tay Brahma Cacao. And drink lots of water. I want everybody to be healthy. Every day. Okay. Okay. 